kati ya Kakamega ghasia zilizuka katika mkutano wa kisiasa huko Kakamega ambapo kiongozi wa Ford Kenya Moses Wetangula alitangaza kugombea urais katika uchaguzi mkuu ujao mtu mmoja alijeruhiwa katika vurugu hizo na kusababisha wasiwasi mkubwa polisi walilazimika kuwatawanya wafuasi kabla ya kurejesha hali mkutano huo ulihudhuriwa na mmoja wa vinara wa code Kalonzo Musyoka mwanahabari wetu Robert Wanyonyi anaarifu Hivi ndivyo mambo yalivyokuwa hivi leo katika uwanja wa Muliro mjini Kakamega. Huku seneta wa Bungoma Moses Wetangula akizindua azima yake ya kuania kiti cha urais kupitia kwa muungano wa kodi. Mtu asiyejulikana alirusha kitoza machozi walipokalia wakuu waalikwa na kuzua vurugu tupu. Licha ya vuruma hizo, wetangula aliyewasili akiambatana na kiongozi wa chama cha Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka, seneta wa Kakamega Boni Halwale na mwenzake wa Mombasa Hassan Omar miongoni mwa viongozi wengine walifika. My presence here and the choice of this venue is a celebration of the ideals that Masinda Mliro fought and lived for and which he died hoping shall be achieved one day kati ya mambo yalionekana kumsumbua wetangula ni kudorora kwa usalama jambo ambalo alisema atalishughulikia endapo atapewa kibali na wakenya my government will boost the country's national security to ensure the safety and lives and investments of all kenyans we will deploy technology and intelligence to prevent crime and mitigate its effects when it happens Kalonzo alishitumu vikali rabcha hizo huku akidai kwamba zilipangwa na maadui wa muungano wa COD kwa minajili ya kuzua mgawanyiko katika muungano huo wa upinzani. That in this day and age it is immoral, it is unacceptable to tear gas one or tiende mzee wa miaka 99 kumweka tear gas burudi na mbwera ni kama kutoheshimu wazee wote Kenya hii. Therefore this act stands condemned. It has failed completely. Na mimi na ndugu Eta na Raila tunazonga mbele bila kurudi nyumba. Ni matamshi yaliyoungwa mkono na maseneta Halwale na Hassan Omar. God is not your enemy. We can be set up against each other. That today Wetangula has made the most unequivocal statement in the history of Kenya. Because Wetangula has made that statement, I ask this man, our friend, our former vice president, Anaitwa Musalia Mudavadi, stop working with Jubilee and come and liberate the Kenyan people. Wetangula ametangaza mikakati ya kueneza kampeni zake katika maeneo yote ya taifa hili huku akielezea matumaini yake ya kuwapiku wenzake ndani ya muungano wa COD ili kupata fursa ya kushindana moja kwa moja na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta wa chama cha Jubilee. Umekuwa ni mkutano ambao haujakosa visanga zake lakini hatimaye seneta wa Bungoma Moses Wetangula amesema kwamba amezindua rasmi azima yake ya kuania kiti cha urais huku akisema kwamba atazingatia pointi tano ambazo ata ngatia katika utawala wake iwapo atachaguliwa na wakenya kuwa rais wao Robert Wanyonyi KTN leo